Machine learning is a data science technique that allows computers to use existing data to forecast future behaviors, outcomes, and trends. Using machine learning, computers learn without being explicitly programmed. Time series forecasting is the task of predicting future values in a time order sequence of observations. It is a common problem and has application in many different industries. This video shows how uh, time series forecasting can be performed through applying machine learning techniques. Azure Machine Learning Service is a cloud service that you can use to develop and deploy machine learning models. Using Azure Machine Learning Service, you can prepare your data, track your models as you build, train, deploy, and manage them, all at the broad scale that the cloud provides. From the main Azure Machine Learning Service documentation, uh, you can click on Quick Starts and then Experiment with a Cloud Notebook. In this tutorial, we are going to use Azure Notebooks to run our code. First of all, we need to create an Azure Machine Learning Workspace, if you don't have one. The Workspace is a, the top-level resource for Azure Machine Learning Service. It provides a centralized place to work with all the artifacts that you create when you use Azure Machine Learning Service. Service. And you can also open your workspace in the Azure portal. So let's see how this works. On the Azure portal, I have already created my machine learning service workspace. And as you can see, one of the options is get started in Azure Notebooks. So let's click on this. Azure Notebooks is a free hosted service to develop and run Jupyter Notebooks in the cloud with no installation. For these specific scenarios, we are going to use also automated machine learning that is a capability within Azure Machine Learning Service that identifies the best machine learning pipelines for your labeled data. This scenario focuses on energy demand forecasting, where the goal is to predict the future load on an energy grid. The solution is trained on a public data set from the New York Independent System Operator, which operates the power grid for New York State. The data set includes hourly power demand data for the New York City over a period of five years, an additional data set containing hourly weather condition in the New York City over the same time period was taken from darksky.net. Let's see together how we can ingest our data and start building our machine learning model. As a part of the setup, you have already created a workspace for AutoML you need also to create an experiment. An experiment is a name object in a workspace. So here, as you can see, you can retrieve your workspace and also you can create your experiment and give it a name. After this, we can ingest our energy demand data and have also a preview of our data set. As you can see, we have a timestamp, demand, precipitation, and temperature columns. Then we can split the data to train and test, and then also split the train data to train and validation data sets. At this moment, we are ready to instantiate an auto ML config object. This defines the setting and the data used to run these experiments. Since we are in a forecasting scenario, the task that we are going to define here is a forecasting. Then the primary metric that we are going to use is the normalized root mean squared error. Uh, the iteration is the number of iteration that you want to run uh, for this specific experiment. And you can also define the time limit in minutes for each each iteration. After that, you define your X values and your Y uh, values, meaning the target values. You can also define your uh, X valid and Y valid, that is the data used to evaluate uh, a model in a, a iteration. And then finally, the path. This is, of course, the relative path to the project folder. After this, we can have a look at our best model. Here we selected the best pipeline from our iterations. We can retrieve explanation for our best model if we want, and we can also monitor the different runs here. As you can see, we have a pipeline, iteration metric, best metric, status, and duration information. After this, we are ready to test the best fit model. We can use the check data function to remove the none values from the Y test if we want to avoid error when we calculate our metrics. And uh, we can also plot the prediction to compare them to uh, the actual data. Finally, we can deploy our model. So we can register our model here. 
as you can see, and then we can create a scoring script that is will be used to run the model on the new uh, data for predictions. Now let's see from the Azure portal if our model was uh, registered and uh, deployed successfully. You just need to go to Azure portal. Here again, there is my uh, machine learning service workspace and I, you just need to click on experiment. The experiment that I was working on uh, right now is the AutoML energy demand forecasting. And here is a very nice because I can see all the metrics that I need to see and also the different pipelines, compute models. So for example, in this case, if I click on model, you can see that the model that I create is here. 